name is Abrar Karan and I'm a junior a political science major in pre-med at Yale. My research study was focused on the use of visual aid in addition to informed consent uh, for cataract surgery uh, for patients in the Hyundai Eye Hospital uh, through the UMA Eye Clinic. Hi, my name is Tony Su. I'm a junior at Yale University. I major in physics and biology. Hi, my name is Bing Wen. I'm a junior at University of Toronto. I'm specialized in health and disease. There are several aspects to doing the doing research study. Um, I had to get IRB approval from my school. Um, I had to plan out the project with my advisor. The first step is to identify a helpful mentor to design a research study. We went through the online direct directory of University of Toronto's Faculty of Medicine and sent out a lot of emails to pr professors and doctors. Um, there are several stages to doing this. I started two or, uh, two or three months before uh, my program. Um, we, we kind of designed the whole study, got the approval from the school, um, talk, talked about it with Jennifer Staple as well as with Dr. Senthil so that we were all on the same page uh, before I got into India. Just from my own experience, um, there's a few things that I can recommend for people interested in doing a research study. Um, I'd say you definitely want to run your study by one or more advisors who can really uh, look at you know areas you might not think about, but later when you present your study at a conference or submit it to a journal, they'll be asking you about. Um, you know, especially if you're doing like a case control study in which you want to hold everything constant, like there's things that you won't readily think about at first uh, that your advisor could definitely help you with. A big caution and advice here is to start planning your research earlier. Depending on the institution, the amount of time for ethic review approval may vary. It usually takes at least one month. You should start planning and designing your research early on because you will get more advice uh, from the doctors who you uh, will be actually working with once you get to the destination. Definitely contact whoever, whatever country you're going to, contact the personnel there and make sure that there are people that are going to be able to help you, that there, there are enough staff members uh, with the free time to help you get your study done. Once we have completed designing the research study, uh, we corresponded with doctors in Chennai. Uh, Dr. Sento helped us translate the questionnaire into Tamil. So really make sure that you're doing something that's realistic, that you'll be able to complete in time. Um, don't take on too much because as much as you are doing a study and volunteering, you also want to enjoy your time in another country, learn as much as you can, um, and, and really connect with the people uh, and the patients there. You know, working in a different environment, in a different culture, in a different country, um, there are a lot of cultural things that are different in other countries. Um, the way, like the efficiency level that you might see at a university might not be emulated in, in different settings, such as rural areas where, you know, doctors' main focus is going to be their patients and not, not the study you're trying to do. You need to realize in a typical uh, eye camp, everyone is really busy. Uh, the doctors and optometrists see about 200 patients in average every day and that's a lot of patients to, to see for them. So you need to be pushy and flexible enough to uh, not interrupt the workflow of the eye camp while getting your research done. You should get as, your materials as prepared as possible, but always re leave room for change. Um, just as in my study, I changed my questionnaire from a multiple choice to true-false. Um, in your study, several things like this are bound to occur. Uh, just to you know fit in with the environment that you're in and it's impossible to know what they'll be until you get to the field So really keep that in mind um, have backup plans Typically I do the volunteer work in the mornings and when we got back from camp Then I'd have to rush to the hospital to try to get this the study going so it, it was it was difficult balancing um, both both uh, Volunteering as well as doing the study you need to contribute to what you do as a volunteer. Volunteering is always the ultimate priority.